Welcome, travelers, champions, heroes, and villains, to the adventure. Last we left off, we completed Amelia's campaign. We now have successfully completed three campaigns. The next one, since we've gone through Amelia. But I like Amelia's game. I hate her friggin' ending and the overall plot. But loot's kind of has a little more information with some of her characters, so we're gonna play Loot next. Should be relatively quick because he can almost instantaneously go to the endgame sequence. A carefree, disobedient youth who grew up in the countryside, having finally decided to cast aside his lazy ways, he takes up an instrument and departs his homeland for the first time in his life. With apparently a monkey. Yes, we will. With additional content. I have no idea if they really added a whole bunch of additional content, because he had a very little content in his. He used previously created data. Psycon will appear when stuff's going on. We're very slowly accumulating all the save data. Good lord, that's bright. Alright, this should look somewhat familiar. As it is Yorkland, where we constantly do the Grail card, and how much I hate loathe it. Hurry up! Ma, I'm still worried about leaving you here all alone. Don't treat me like some old woman. I'm not so old I have to be worried about. Work hard, Loot. Alright, Ma. Love his little strut, though. Big bro, you're really going? See ya, Thunder. Be strong. Take care of Ma. Well, I guess I'll be going. Yes, that is, in fact, Loot's brother. A giant ogre monster. So, this young boy left home. Raised by his mother, he was shiftless, and brought her nothing but grief. But for some reason, all the neighborhood punks liked him. That young boy's name is... I wonder who it could be. Oh, we actually get to change his name if we so desire, but we will maintain his name. Finally, Loot decided to move away and handle stuff on his own. Do I really handle stuff on my own? Don't forget about me, big bro. Take care of Ma, Thunder. Our billionaire ran away the other night. Nay! Huh, never used to be people here before. You're not allowed on board. Not allowed. But I gotta get on. This has been chartered by Trinity. Give us some room in a ship this huge. I'm at a corner somewhere. Stop bugging us. We'll arrest you. Arrest me? For what? What's going on here? Is there a problem? Captain. No problem here, sir. That character should look relatively familiar from Amelia's campaign if you've been following along. Go on now. Get out of here. You want to board the ship? Alright. We have room for you. Come on. Your boss seems like a nice guy. Does he now? And just like that, we are out of Yorkland. Hey! Thanks for the ride. I'm from Yorkland too, you know. By the way, where's this ship going? Manhattan. Look at that fancy different plane dive. And just like that, we've already accomplished the intro. Go to the shopping mall, see if there's anything exciting for us here. You got this guy, and you see a pretty girl around here? They've got pretty good burgers over there. Yep, they're still over there. Hello. Hello. What's up, Fuse? What'd you talk about with Mondo? Why do you know I was talking to Mondo? And yes, that was, in fact, Mondo. Oh, what? Do I know you? Maybe the police or something? Guess you're not as stupid as you look. My name's Fuse. I work for the patrol on Urpo. You rode Mondo's ship from Yorkland, right? Yeah. Give me a ride. Seemed like a nice guy to me. A nice guy? It's the first time someone spoke of him that way. Trust me, Mondo is smart, but not nice. I don't know. That's what I thought. By the way, my name's Luke. Guess you're the guy to talk to next time I get a parking ticket, eh? Hmm. Is he a kind of man? This tastes good. Why, you're right. Hey, I'm Luke. My name's Leonard. Nice to meet you. Hope you're enjoying that body, Leonard. Alright, we got some other 
more stuff. Hello, hello. A great place for shopping at the mall, you don't say. All right, so where should I go? I want pearls, but I also want some old clothes too. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do here. I wonder if there's anything else worthwhile here. We need to go somewhere else. We need to go to we'll head over to Luminous real quick. See if one of our favorite mage companions is hanging out. I forget if we have any combat encounters along the way. I'm Rouge from the Magic Kingdom. I'm studying through the region, studying various kinds of magic. Are you also searching for you? Yes, I am. Then let me join you. Just in case we have some issues. Because I don't remember when we first get into our fights, but I don't really want to do it with Luke by himself. Bowie. Powerful Bowie knife. In the backpack for now. Parts. Anything extra for no reason? Nope. If Luke comes with anything good? No. Where to? We would like to go to... Homey. I believe. I think. Pretty confident this is where we're going. Come back, please. I love you. Right here, baby. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. I just love the food here. I always come here for a bite whenever I'm in Omi. You need a whole lot more here because they don't use bad ingredients. Really. From Nelson, eh? They're pretty decent to me. All the Trinity says you people are vicious pirates. It's nothing but propaganda. Come see my ship sometime. You'd be surprised. Captain, it's time. See you soon. Chef, food was just terrific, as usual. Please come again. Huh. Captain Hamilton. He looks like he has no chin in that picture. It is outstanding. <laughs> so yes, we're learning that maybe Mondo's not that great. And now we gotta go to Nelson. On a fancy pirate ship through space. Alright. Let's go. Find the captain. Alright. This is the Victoria. A very special independent fighter from Nelson. Currently, the ship is assigned to monitor the activities of Mondo. From Trinity's second intelligence division. I assume you know him too. Mondo? Oh yeah, he gave me a ride on a ship. I don't really know him. No. I'm talking about the guy who betrayed your father and sold him out to Trinity. What are you talking about? You mean Dad and Mondo knew each other? You really don't know. I thought you approached me to avenge your father's death. Not to mention fulfilling his last wish. Dad's last wish? What was he involved in? He was an anti-Trinity activist. He lost his first wife during his mission. Hey, hold on a sec. I never told me none of this stuff. I don't even know your name. How do I know you're telling me the truth? Nelson's a tiny region. In order to resist an enormous power like Trinity, we need to collect all kinds of information. That's why we know many things which others don't. Cramming me with this stuff about Dad and Trinity all at once is only confusing me. I don't blame you. Maybe you should start over from the beginning. Like I said before, we're now assigned to watch over Mondo's activities. We discovered he is secretly building his own private army base. We're getting ready to attack the base when the time comes. You're gonna start a war against Trinity. There won't be any war. Even Trinity doesn't know their own command is creating a private army. Army. Why does he need a private army? He's power crazy. He wants to completely rule Trinity. Sounds a little too far-fetched to me. I mean, why would anyone like Mondo need to crave... I mean, why would anyone like Mondo need to crave for more power? Anyhow, we're ready to attack his base. Let us know when you decide to join us. I really like violence. I'm really scaredy, tech. scaredy cat by nature. We're ready to get into Mondo base? You will not be able to change your mind once you're ready. 
Ah, uh, yes. This is exactly the uh, end game. We can now go straight to loot's end game. Nope. We'll wait for it. And so Captain Hamilton has joined us, but we are not going to uh, do the fight just yet. So yes, that is literally, we have already unlocked Loot's Endgame. So what we need to go do is we need to go to Devon. So yes, the little pirate ship that you always travel on owe me to Devon and it is Captain Hamilton's Victoria ship. But yes, so now we just need to recruit a party. Buff ourselves up. Get a sweet amount of magic. Get the rune stuff. I like starting with the rune stuff because tarot requires a bunch of gold. That requires money at the end. Next about rune magic. Magic protects its users by wrapping the rune light to master higher spells you need to acquire the gift. Since the rune and arcane cannot coexist, possessors of arcane must first give it up when it's magic. Ask about the gift. Acquire the gift. Collect all four runes in the various regions. Hide rune, Kumarong. Pick the rune and strike. Fade rune and despair. Vitality rune and Tanzer. Collect the runes. Yaha. Uh -huh. Receive four pebbles. When these four pebbles become runes, you will acquire the gift for this magic. Sweet. Alright, so we're going that route. We're going to go ahead. Also talk to the uh, Arcane Plaza. So yeah, Loot's whole story is pretty much just like, yeah, I thought Mondo was cool. Oh god, Mondo's not cool. I guess we need to go mess up Mondo. That's literally his whole story. <laughs> so that's all we have to do now is just beef up some characters and go right to it. Ask about the gift. To acquire the gift of arcane magic, collect all four cards. Shield card in Urpo, Gold card in Bakura, Frail card in Yorkland, and Saber card in Wakatu. Collect the cards. Uh-huh. When these four playing cards become arcane tarot cards, they'll acquire the gift of this magic. Cool. Alright. Huh? I don't know, we could... Actually, cheese it, because I kind of want to get Fuse in my party, because it makes sense. So maybe we'll do uh, Arcane first and change it up. But... How many gold do we have? We have 100 credits. Let's go to Yorkland. Because no point if we're going to go start some crap, not to pick up somebody very near and dear to loot himself. Big bro. Yo, what's new, Thunder? That voice, big bro, came back to us. What a fix. Can't go back home now. Come on, take me along. Sure. Thunder, join the party. So now we have Rouge, Captain Hamilton, Thunder, and Loot. Hey, you know what? Uses guns and swords. You know what? Actually, we might skip out on Fuse then. Let's go get ourselves another magic user. Thinking maybe Maylene if she joins me. But. Uh, go to. Scrap. It's only 50, right? 100 credits. Oh, jeez. So it's gonna take all my gold to get back, but that's fine. Yo, my name's Luke. My name's Riki. I've got to fight Caballero. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, but I can help. Really? Same thing. Luke says he's gonna help us. Huh. I wonder. Riki joined the party, and Mei-Ling joined the party. Sweet. Trinity's slapping us with a patent violation. Like we don't already have enough problems. What's a mech doing in a bar? Need to recover lost data. Alright, I can help. And she doesn't want to talk. Alright, and there we go. Uh, nope. Let's switch out Mei Ling for Riki. We're gonna make Mei Ling our secondary support caster. She wants to go beat up Cavalero. No strangers allowed, bud. Oh, well, we're here. La dee da. The hell are you? Get out! Okay. So much for, uh,. Start my own cab company, it's gonna cost you 100 credits. To Kurong! And victory! Where to? Uh, let's go to Shrike. Let's start off with our normal rounds of gearing up. Let's do our new save.
so that we don't have to go do the long, oppressive intro to loot story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go to Saze 2. All right, let's see if we can get... Bring in Thunder along, because I want to try... I need to start working my way through monster techniques, because I'm going to have to do Riki at some point, and this is the best way I can think of it. Let's this one. Who's gonna quit with anything? Okay. He got... He's got some decent stuff, actually. Double fang amulets. Alright, see if this is good enough to start off, or if we need to do some pre leveling leveling. Yep, that is Thunder, giant ogre. Some knee splits. Uh, throw down some explosions. Get gun, high frequency swords. You know what? Get both, I can. That way. Let's do as much big hitties as we can. She got a Sunray to start off with. Excellent. And we're stunned. And we're stunned. And you guys are jerks. Oh, that was that was sick. The free instant kill. Bonk. Thunder's gonna start off pretty decent for us, I do believe. He's probably gonna change up pretty quick out of being an ogre. Which is good and bad, but we're gonna we'll get him up there. Cause he will be in our final party, I promise. Got a fiend rod and the Morkuma. Let's give that to Oop. So good. Alright. Wolf. It's a lot of deuce to start off with. Uh, fiend rod. Let's do some attacks. Actually, energy change should probably be fine to start off with. Yeah. A lot. Lightning Pierce. Okay, more than one. Looks like two. Take it. Get the sun rays going. Get a good wheel slash. Big ol' Lightning Pierce. That, I was gonna say that didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, let's uh... Get the living X. Couldn't absorb anything. All right. It's not obnoxious. And up we go. It's, it's, no. It's this way, right? This way up. Like I'm starting to kind of remember where where things are. Eventually, maybe kind of, sorta. Looks pretty positive. All right. It's gonna be a quick run. Ling in the back as well. Deck. Explosion. Wheel slash. Shockwave. Sunray. Oh, we get a deflect. Beautiful. It's a beautiful starting move. And may lean down. Let's see if we can get a good death explosion. Beautiful. Bonk. Shock hit. Shockwave, nice and good for the party. Absorb from the skeleton knight, but we can't. Psychic. Charisma getting our levels up. Come on, here we go. 
did we just find? Spirit orb, huh? That bone breastplate. Yes, please. Spirit Orb. And we're already almost done. Let's go over here. Let's do a quick save. And away we go. Bring your mailing to the back again. Back. Explosion. Wheel slash, shockwave, sunray. Oof. Take it. And shockwave kill. Beautiful. <laughs> nice, quick, and easy. Keep trying to get those skeletons next time. Alright, here we go. Skeletons increased. You know, this could actually end up being a really nice solid mixed party. This good healer is our mermaid friend from uh, Omi. And I do think I would love to have her be part of the team. And let's go ahead and put the shield on. Yep, we have all the treasures. Maybe we'll come back and beat up on Say at some point. But until then... Yeah, we don't need to do that. Uh, some lightning pierces, some sun rays. Beautiful. Oh, get some combos already, here we go. Don't need to be doing implosions all the time, but it is what it, I did like no damage. Excellent. Uh, cactus, sort of needle. Hey, we're back to our ogre friend. <laughs> has mediocre health and stats, but I don't know about his stats. How good are his? A lot of strength. Um, I don't remember what I was doing. Nothing. Apparently, we're just leaving. Got our fancy new equipment, so we're out. Did our tomb robbing. Quick healing. And please follow me. Yeah, I don't know if Luke can get our little mermaid mystic, but if he can, we are going to go do it, so let's go. Oh. Have to go to Kurong. To... Like you think that'd be one of the things they could have updated in this game, just you can transfer from like anywhere. There we go. Let's go to Omi. Nope, don't need to go there just yet. We want to go to the old manor. And so I think there's some stuff we can borrow from this man. If we so desire as well. There's a nice little cast. If there's any sort of like weird encounters that we have up here. Ghost cannon, huh? Chris, huh? Uh, is that a... It is, so you know what? We're gonna give that to uh, Thunder to start off with. And give the ghost cannon to Mei Ling for now as well. 
Beautiful. What's in here? Nothing. All right. So let us. Here, nothing. So, to the dungeon. But I think we will have to save that for when I see you all again in the next adventure. Bye for now.